My name is Anna Wassing, and I originally came into the office for myself several years ago. Um, one of my good friends had been adjusted by another NUCA doctor and shared her story with me, and I had always felt a little bit um, uneven in my legs, and so originally that's what led me to Dr. Jeff. Um, that was before I was married, before I had kids or anything. Um, and after the initial adjustment, I didn't need a second one. But then fast forward, I had a, my most recent coming back to the office was for my son Otto, who's now four years old. At the time, he was about just over three when we first came to the office. And um, we were, I wasn't really sure what was going on with him. Um, we were experiencing really, really um, what I would consider abnormal tantrums and lots of big adrenaline rush screaming fits over things that were completely unpredictable. And um, I'm a teacher, so I see kids of all different abilities and emotional states all the time. But something just really did not feel right about it. And I started to wonder, like, maybe he is having sensory issues. Maybe he needs, like, medication. You know, I didn't know. And so I was just kind of holding on tight to his three-year-old well child check. When we got there... The doc I explained all of the symptoms I was seeing to the doctor and he just kind of said, yeah, that's, that's three, you know, that's what three-year-olds do. They throw tantrums and I was like, he's just, he's, there's my, the only way I could explain it is something's wrong. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong. I can see it in his face. There's something wrong. And um, it was super dismissed by our pediatrician. Uh, as just normal, normal, and I just didn't believe that, you mm -hmm. know. It was actually my mom who suggested, she's like, why don't you try that NUCA doctor that you saw, you know, it, at that time it was like four years ago. And I was like, I am going to do that. On the way here, I did not believe he was actually going to be out of alignment, but I thought maybe Dr. Jeff could point me in a direction. Um, when we got here um, and Dr. Jeff just listened to my concerns, I instantly felt better, even before knowing whether he was out of alignment or not. And ultimately, when he put him on the table, he looked at me and he said, he's the most out of alignment child I've ever seen. And I felt like instant relief because I knew it was going to help. And, um, and it instantly did. The very next day he went to daycare. Oh, something I didn't relay is that he was hitting other kids at daycare, super aggressive with other kids, running away from the daycare provider. She couldn't, we were, I mean, we couldn't go to pick up from daycare without a bad report. And, and the very next day she said, she would not have believed it if she didn't see it herself, the change in him. So we had, wow. I believe it was a Thursday, and I, he went back to daycare on that Friday with zero incidents the entire day. Wow. I just kept waiting for it to, to rear up again, and it never did. Um, now we come back in when I see small signs, like if he starts screaming again, which is why we're here today, I think he might be out of alignment again. But it's it's like every, you know, four months or six months or one time he fell and hit his head at the park. And I just kind of watched after that and he was back out of alignment after that. But it feels really good to have a plan if he is out of alignment. And the weekend after we got him aligned, <clears throat> um, my husband was, and I were outside and Otto was laughing in the yard and Andy just looked at me and was like, he's back. Aww. And it's so true. That's yeah. how we felt. Yeah. He, we could see it in his eyes. Yeah. He was back. Like just, he had been 
out of alignment. And so it's made a huge difference for him. And I tell everyone I know about it yeah. because I just think, I don't know where we would be today with yeah. him if, if we hadn't been seen by Dr. Jeff. 